Good evening. New Mexico has seen almost a 50% increase in the homeless population in the last year. A report given to lawmakers on the Legislative Finance Committee outlines the lack of affordable housing as the state's homeless population continues to grow. Here's News 13's Ariana Kraft with the latest numbers on homelessness throughout the state and how few are actually looking to take advantage of the housing available. There are nearly 4,000 homeless people throughout New Mexico. In the last year, the state's homeless population jumped 48 percent. The data points to a growing need for affordable housing. The biggest problem we have with housing is our own bureaucracy. It just, it just gets in our way. Do I want safe housing? Yes. But if you make it so safe that nobody can afford it, it's not safe housing. It's just a building. The Legislative Finance Committee report presented yesterday at the Roundhouse shows that since 2017, rent in New Mexico has increased by 70 percent, while average wage levels grew by just 15 percent. And each year, about half of the state's homeless population are in Albuquerque. According to the report, the city is falling behind on transitioning people to permanent housing. But the city says it's working on it. That's part of our hotel strategy. Uh, to create more affordable units and we have purchased our, our first one and yeah, we just need to keep keep that ball rolling. A common argument at the Roundhouse is that a vast majority of the homeless population do not want to take advantage of the services or housing available. For those that do, LFC staff estimates the state could benefit from another 859 permanent supportive housing units, which would cost an estimated $11.4 million annually. The city of Albuquerque is anticipating the long-awaited Gateway Center to help thanks to its hub for community services. And I think also what's really important is the array of services that we have at the Gibson Health Hub and at Gateway will really help people navigate to where they need to go ultimately to housing. Ariana Kraft, CARE, QE News 13. The CEO of the New Mexico Mortgage Finance Authority said more than 50 multifamily projects with 4,300 units are under development or construction across the state.